We've recently started carrying the FreeSock 2, which is a development board for a device called a PSOC, or Programmable System on Chip. Now the cool thing about these devices is that they include not only a controller, which can run firmware, but also programmable logic, sort of the same stuff you might find in an FPGA. So you can actually define new uh, hardware peripherals that will run with commands from your firmware, which is running on the same device. Now to show off some of the capabilities of the FreeSock 2 board, I've decided to put together this FreeSock 2 keyboard synthesizer. This keyboard synthesizer takes advantage of two of the features that I really like on the PSOC devices. One of those is the ability to put analog multiplexers in that programmable logic and actually route analog signals in real time within the device. The second feature is the ability to use firmware to control that programmable logic, such as a uh, programmable gain amplifier. So I can actually write code which changes the gain on the amplifier in real time. There's another feature that I really like on this device specifically, which is called a Wave DAC, which is a DAC or a digital to analog converter that's bundled with a waveform generator. So you just set what waveform you want to generate and what frequency, and it will continuously generate that frequency. And it'll put it through that DA converter so that you can bring it out of an analog pin and put it into um, like an amplifier or anything else that you want to, to amplify that signal. So, what I've done is I've set up four of those wave DACs, each of which can generate two different waveforms. And I've set those up with multiplexers such that when I press a key on this keyboard, it switches the multiplexer to tell, basically to allow one of those wave DACs to get through to the output of the amp. So if I press this key, that wave is being generated constantly, but it only gets to the speakers when I'm pressing the key because the analog multiplexer is allowing that signal to switch through. Same thing if I press this key. Now I only am, in theory, playing up to four notes at a time within the device. Um, so every time that I press a key, it's both switching which waveform is being generated at each wave DAC and switching which wave DAC is making it to the final output. But before it gets to the output, it's going through a multiplexer where one of the inputs is just an open signal, it's just ground. So when that multiplexer is set to one, for instance, there's no sound that comes out of the uh, analog pin. But when it's set to zero, it's allowing that note to come through from one of the wave DACs. And what I've done in the firmware is I've switched that on a um, on and off, just on a delay. So that creates a tremolo effect. So I can hold one of these keys and then start to swap through the channels on that multiplexer. And the firmware can control the delay between switching channels on the multiplexer. Another thing you can do is control the gain of a programmable gain amplifier. Now I have one of those in line as well. So if I turn this knob, I'm actually reading that knob using an SAR ADC, taking that value and then in my firmware I'm using it to control the gain. So I have three different gain settings and as I turn this knob it'll go through each of those gain settings. There's one. There's another. Finally, I have a volume knob. Now the volume knob isn't actually connected to the FreeSock board. It's actually attenuating the analog signal using the volume control on the amp breakout. It's one of our mono amp breakouts. It's a little tiny class D amplifier and I really like it for simple mono sound projects like this. So as you can see, if I'm holding a key, I just have full analog control over the volume. I'll be sure to set up a GitHub repository that has all of these schematic files and project files for PSOC Creator, so that if you want to replicate this project or just find out how it works, you can open those up and look at the schematics, the analog logic, and all of my firmware.